with Monkey 1000. And we got Bruno here. Yay, Bruno. So today I was going to do a vlog all day of when I was working. I see what's going on out there in the world that now that Florida is pretty much you have to stay at home order. Well, anyways, I was going to do that, but I had to find a way of setting up a camera in the truck so I could drive. Well, anyways, we didn't have time this morning. I had to go, and I couldn't use my phone to, to do it. So I thought, well, when I get home, I'll just do one of what I saw and what, what, I, what I see. So anyways, so this morning I left, and I go... I, I, it takes me about 45 minutes to get to my new patient, my first patient. So I get there. Uh, on my way there, there because of the stay-at-home order, the um, roads were quite quiet today, this morning especially. So there was a car and first car I was in the left lane and I was driving and um, of course they were trying to go around me and he was trying to do a hundred miles an hour and he tried to he couldn't get around me because there was another car beside me I was over here and I couldn't get over because he was right there on the right hand side so instead of you know, calming down and maybe getting behind me, he had to honk his horn, acting like an idiot, and giving me the finger. So finally, the car that was in front of him made a right-hand turn, and then he kind of zoomed off, and he was doing over. I swear he was doing 100 miles an hour in his Camaro. The kid was, he was at least in his 20s, or sometime, you know, young. He was young. And he was an idiot. Total idiot. Just because the roads are clear doesn't give you the right to run 100 miles an hour. And then a few minutes later, I'm still trucking down the highway, and here comes another one. Zooming right by me. He, he was doing 100 too. I just, I, it blows my mind how inconsiderate people are. And, you know, he could have caused somebody to... You know, it could have caused a bad accident. He could have killed himself. He could have killed somebody else. And they don't care. So, anyway. So, I go to my first patient today. And everything's cool. Everything's good. So, I go on to my next one. And, um, there was something. I was looking around. And traffic started getting heavy. And I swear, today, because of the ordinance, everybody is panicking and going outside side and going to the stores because they figured they better do it today. So I saw more traffic today than I did a week ago on Friday. So that blowed my mind too because they were supposed to have been under this order and to stay at home. Well you all can't have need all that groceries. How many people need so many groceries? I mean Really, most of the people in Florida got one or two people in the house. Now, you know, I got enough right here. We can, we can make it do, you know, for a couple of weeks probably for what we got. You know, we might have to be a little creative, but we got enough here. We could probably not even have to go to the store. Unless we were something that we absolutely wanted, you know. So, you know, all these grocery stores are full of people because they're in a panic. Everybody seems to be in a panic, and, and it, 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 it's crazy. You know, you're supposed to stay away from each other. I've seen groups today. They got the golf courses open still. I'm like, okay, so the, what they got to do with the golf courses is that they are allowed in one golf cart per person, and they have to stay so many feet away from each other when they're playing. Well, that's not what is happening. I seen like four guys hanging around and they were closed together like this. So I see what's going to happen is they're going to be closing the golf courses down soon. Because people won't do what they're supposed to do. So I'm ranting because 
I see all this stuff, and, and then I'm reading and watching the news in, in New York, and it's crazy. It's just absolutely crazy. So people here in Florida need to, to do the right thing and just stay at home. If you got to go to the store, you go to the store and you come right back home. That's it. That's what, you're, that's what stay at home means. Stay at home. Ugh, I couldn't believe it. So, then, what else? Um, yes, I have to wear a mask. I've been wearing my mask pretty much most of my patients. Now, we are not under where we have to wear them, but I think we should. Um, you know, I, I, I'm wearing them more and more every patient I go into. I do not have any patients that have this virus, thank goodness. Um, they thought I had one. And she tested and she was fine. So um, that's not what was causing her problem. So that's a good thing. Um, now we are to check our temperature before we leave. And we have to check it every four hours now for, for every day while we're working. So that's what we're doing. So, but... I just don't understand why people are not staying at home as much as they should be. They're really not. I mean, I understand you got to go outside and get exercise and walk, walk. Well, you walk in front of your house, go up and down the neighborhood there, you know, do something like that. I mean, I've seen bikers and 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 bikers that are husband and wife and are riding beside each other within, like, you know, like this. They're not like this, so. Um, you know, I worry that, that Florida is going to get hit real bad. I think it, it it's, it's on its way. So, you know, they did um, have two um, um, ships that were supposed to dock here in Florida. And they have, they have the virus on both of them, I believe. So people are kind of upset. They don't want them here. And, um, you know, it's just everybody's panicking. And um, my other thing was that too many people are starting to get anxiety. I noticed in my patients, are, they're starting to get anxiety because they sit there all day and watch the news. And they have nothing else to do. They're just watching one news after the other. And they're watching this program about the the virus all over the place and how bad it is and now their anxiety is up to here well I think that it's okay to watch it and be aware but sometimes too much can be too much so I think you should turn it off take a break and you know just calm down and watch a movie or go outside sit outside in the fresh air because Florida has been really pretty and it's been really nice weather right now, so um, I understand why people want to get out, but just be careful. I mean, you know, I see so many mistakes just driving around, and I'm driving my truck, and I'm, I'm seeing all these people making all these mistakes, and it's scary. You know, they're not doing what they should do. So that was my going to be my vlog. It would have been better because you would have been able to see what I was seeing, you know. But, um, so, I'm home now for, what, three, three days. And I'm getting smaller and smaller with my, um, patients because I think that they are not really wanting me to, to do it, um, to go in and, and do the bathing as much, um, with this all going on. So... I think a lot of it, I'm just going to be staying at home more and more, which is probably best on both of us. And um, so, that was my rant for the day. Uh, I didn't see much more than that, but I think that was plenty. Because people need to, to, really, to really do what they need to do and do the right thing. And I have one patient that I do privately, and he asked me not to come for two weeks because they're in a panic. And um, even though that I was wearing a mask, so he was still still uneasy about it. So I hope he he's going to be careful because he has his problems, and he's going to try to help his wife that has to be transferred to have a shower. So I hope 
that um, he doesn't hurt himself. And I told him, you know, you need to be careful. You know, I can see this happening too because people are getting scared. They don't even want home care coming in. Um, I, I've seen it. So if they don't want home care coming in, and they're trying to take bathing showers by themselves when they really shouldn't be. They could end up hurting themselves in the long run, big time. So everybody needs to be careful out there and think before you do and think about other people too, not just yourselves, you know. So anyways, that's my rant, um, my vlog, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Um, for today. Um, I think I got an idea for a video that I'm going to try to do and probably for tomorrow. So you'll have that one coming up hopefully tomorrow night. And I think we might do a live thing tomorrow night so stay tuned. You might see us doing a live thing tomorrow night. The two of us. Monkey and Traber. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to stop and Bruno's finished with this thing and I had Shea Bear's um, crock pot dinner tonight. That was pretty good. You'll see the, the video coming up on his channel and uh, it was very good. Um, so that's it for now. Y'all stay safe and take care. Bruno's going to take the tripod down. He's on a leash over here so I'm just sitting on the bench outside. So. Um, Y'all take care and be safe. Bye for now. Monkey's out.